Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently covered On Demand, which allows us to create AI agents, AI workflows, and a ton of other stuff in literal seconds. It also gives you free credits, which allow you to do a lot of things for free with it. I highly recommend you check that video out to understand how it works and how you can combine AI agents and everything. But, if you don't know about On Demand, then just for a quick recap, it is an all-in-one AI operating system that allows you to create AI agents. It also has an AI agent marketplace where you can find a ton of AI agents that you can use, or you can even publish your own AI agents for others to use. You can create AI agents that work with your custom knowledge base or custom APIs. You can put them in a flow, make them trigger automatically, and accomplish anything or stuff like that. It has a ton more features like bring your own models, AI engineer, and much more. I covered all of this in the previous video, so you can check that out. But today, I want to show you how I have been using it to make AI agents that achieve specific tasks for me. Now, the agent that I'm going to be making is a simple AI component generator agent. It basically allows me to give it an idea of a component, like a button or a toolbar or a dashboard that I want it to generate. Then, it can take in a custom design guidelines PDF that I'll give the agent, and it can make components for my applications that follow those design guidelines. I'll be using On Demand to achieve this. So, let's get right into it. First of all, just get yourself registered on On Demand, and you'll get free $50 credits, which is pretty good and enough for a while to use. Anyway, here, you'll see this dashboard, and in the sidebar, you can see a ton of options. You get the agent marketplace at first, which has a ton of pre-made agents that you can use and change something or just use as is. But we don't want to use a pre-made agent because I want to create a component generator agent. So just hit this create agent option and then you can see some of the options here, which include the rest API agent option as well as the knowledge base and IoT agents. I'll be using the knowledge base agent because I want to give it my design guidelines as a PDF and some more documentation of some design libraries. You can also use the REST API option if you want the agent to communicate with an API for knowledge or anything like that. So, that is kind of good. Anyway, just use the knowledge base option and then it will open up this page. Now, just choose a category and enter the agent description and name, as well as some conversation starters. Now, you'll also need to upload the documentation and design patterns that it should follow. Since we are making a component generation agent that can follow a similar design. So I have now uploaded the shade CN documentation for it to reference, which I actually just got from the context seven site. I also gave it the animate UI documentation because that is also kind of cool and I use it as well. Then I also gave it the tailwind documentation and then I gave it my design patterns that I want it to follow. This includes that the generated designs should be rounded with a light colored border and glass morphism effects, which is kind of good. And it should always create react files for the component. It's pretty simple as of now, but based on the project, it can be more complex and stuff like that. If you're building some other kind of agent, then you can also put in what you want. But now, we can just get it saved, and it's now made. To use it, we can just head on over to the playground, and here we can select the model that we want to use, and everything. I'll recommend you use Sonnet for this as it should be enough. So, just select that here, and then save it as a preset as well, because we'll need it in a bit. Also, add a system prompt here, 
asking it to follow the guidelines from the knowledge base, and only output code, and nothing else. Anyway, now we can just go to the Agents tab, and here we can just hit this Add button. It will allow you to select the agent that we just made, then enable it, and we can now use it. So, let's ask it to make me a component for a button that is blue in color, but with glass morphism. I don't need to say the glass morphism thing because I have already mentioned it in the design aspects, but still, it's fine. In just a bit, I get this React code, which is pretty good. And if I run this, then it looks amazingly good. You can export this and use it as much as you want. But you wouldn't always want to come to the playground and use it. You might want a CLI tool to use it. So what we can do is just hit this Get Code option, and this will give us the option to choose a language in which to generate the code. I'll be using JavaScript here, and then you can see the code to use it, and you can integrate it. You can also see the V0 and Lovable prompt to integrate or make a simple option to use it. So, you can just click this, and this will give you a prompt that you can just paste in Lovable or Bolt, and then it can use that, which is awesome. I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it in Lovable. Let's see how it is able to build me an interactive panel. After just a bit, we get the interactive chat in Lovable that I can just download and then use locally as well, which is pretty awesome nonetheless. So, this is quite amazing. This is how I have been using it, by creating some custom agents that are really focused on something super specific. Like in this case, I built a component generator that can build components and give me code for whatever it is that I want to do, and it's just awesome for sure. You can also use their API to build MCP servers, and then use it in Klein, which I'll show you guys in the next video about it. It is going to be insanely good as well. So, this is really good, and I have been using it. Plus, it's free with $50 credits and everything, which also helps me save money in some aspects. Even without it, the features are pretty insane, because you get the Agent Flow Builder, Web Chatbot Creator, as well as serverless application, and stuff like that. So, this is pretty good, and you can give it a try and use it as much as you want. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.